Hello and welcome back to 305 Tech. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lenovo ThinkPad P16S. This is a mobile workstation with an integrated graphics card. This P16S is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6850U, which has a max boost clock of 4.7 gigahertz. This laptop comes equipped with 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 6400 megahertz speed, and it is supposed to be soldered onto the motherboard. We will be taking a closer look inside and see what upgrades we can do to this laptop. So stay tuned for that. The display is a 16 inch 1920 by 1200 IPS with 300 nits brightness and it can do 60 Hertz of refresh rate. The integrated graphics card is an AMD Radeon 680M. Just like most of my other videos, let's take a look at the bottom of the case. Let's pop it open and see what all the components look like on the inside. So this laptop comes with a one terabyte SSD drive and the game plan is that we're going to be upgrading it to this Samsung 990 Pro which is the absolute best hard drive on the market right now as far as I'm concerned. This is just my opinion and as always I'm going to be using my trusty iFixit toolkit. If you plan on getting any of these parts please use my Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. Okay, so this laptop does in fact have built-in soldered RAM and unfortunately you will not be able to upgrade the RAM on this laptop. So make sure when you get it, you get it with the appropriate amount of RAM based on your workload. We will however be able to upgrade the hard drive to a better model than the one that Lenovo ships a laptop with. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I often get asked. What is the point of replacing the hard drive that this laptops ship with and why would i put my own drive and the honest answer is because number one it gives me an opportunity to create these videos for you guys number two it's a little bit more cost effective when you purchase the drives independently versus getting them straight from lenovo so there is some cost savings and also gives me the flexibility of choosing whatever drive I want to install on this laptop. In most of my latest videos, I have been using Samsung drives. This drive is built by HK Hynix, which is a, an excellent manufacturer, but it will be installing a Samsung 990 Pro, which in my opinion is a better drive. I also want to take a moment to let you know that I am not sponsored by Samsung. So I actually have no sponsorships yet. So everything that I display in these videos is actually purchased by me or by one of my clients. Okay, so now that we have installed the drive, the last step is to put the back lid back on and reinstall Windows. In this case, I'm going to be installing Windows 10. This laptop does ship from factory with Windows 11 Pro. However, I'm not a fan of Windows 11. So for now, I am sticking with Windows 10. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you feel I have earned your subscription, please subscribe to my channel. Please take a moment and hit the like button. Please take a moment and leave me any comments, whether you like this video, whether you hated this video, whether you have any questions about this laptop, or if you'd like me to review another laptop, please let me know. This is Will from 305 Tech. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.